How did everything go? Immensely satisfactory. I'm so happy. I wanna hear all about it. Will you do dinner first because there is something I have to do before 6 or I will get fired? Yeah, I can't think of anything I'd love to do more. Where is Porgy? I left her downstairs. Not leaving the door of the room with the manuscript in it. I don't think so. Look at me. Look me in the eye and talk me through this. Basically, my life is over. Okay. I really need to go out for just two minutes or maybe one. Don't you dare. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Though a little hurt. Your father, I think, is not so well. Cancer. Yes. I'm very unhappy about it, Tim. And your wedding, he said he loved me. He does. I know. That was the best day of my life. So, this is probably the worst. And so he's told me his secret formula for happiness. Part one of the two-part plan was that I should just get on with ordinary life, living it day by day like anyone else. But then came part two of death's plan. He told me to live every day again, almost exactly the same. The first time with all the tension and worries to stop us noticing how sweet the world can be. But the second time, noticing. Right, I will ready for this. Of course we are not. Hateful day. Just give me a minute. I just thought that maybe, you know, it was time for the insurance baby. What? In case one of them is really smart, we don't want the other one to feel stupid their whole life. And if we have a third one, then we could have two happy dummies. What do you think? It was the toughest decision of my life. Saying yes to the future means saying goodbye to my dad forever. Why don't we wait a bit? Absolutely. You are right. Yeah. 